When Acura came to Canada in 1987, it did so with the Legend and the Integra. Well, 20 plus years later, the little car that could is coming back. This time around, however, it's not so little. The latest Integra arrives as a five-door hatch that rides on a 2736mm wheelbase. While it shares much of its makeup with the Civic hatch, it has been reworked to put some distance between the two, especially in the Elite A-Spec tested. In this case, it starts with a three-stage adaptive dampers with comfort, normal and sport modes. Each of the suspension settings is then tied into the throttle and steering. Comfort mode is just that. Normal brings a crisper response from the engine and puts a little more weight in the steering. Sport sharpens the throttle noticeably and the steering has yet more heft, which brings better feel and feedback. The plus in all of this is it makes the turning response fast without needing to dial in constant correction when the road straightens. The suspension is also in its firmest setting. This limits body roll and keeps things hunkered down on a smooth road. However, individual proved to be the best choice. Setting the engine and steering in sport and the suspension in comfort delivered the best balance. The combination makes the Integra feel sharp, but it's also more forgiving. The softer damping does a much better job of keeping the 235 40R18 tires in touch with the road. Now this latest Integra is a large car. There's plenty of space in the back seat for two adults. And when you come back here, there's 688 liters of cargo space for the seats upright. Now Acura don't give you a number when they're folded flat, but visually it more than doubles. So there's lots of room for a family of four. Power comes from a 1.5 litre turbo 4 that twists out 200 horsepower and more importantly, 192 pound-feet of torque anywhere between 1800 and 5000 RPM. It works with a continuously variable transmission or a six-speed manual gearbox to drive the front wheels. The CVT does what's needed and benefits from the fact it shifts through pre-selected gears under hard acceleration. This minimises the usual CVT drone. The manual gearbox is a true delight. The throws are short, the gate is well defined and the clutch is light and bites in the right place. On the twisty sections of the drive, it proved to be very easy to run through the gears at the speed needed. It also rev maxed on downshifts so the engine was ready to roar the instant the gas is matted at the apex. Now this Integra is offered with a six-speed manual gearbox, which is great news for the driver. Not only does it keep you more involved, it also comes with a helical limited slip front differential. That little bit of information means that whenever you hit mid corner and stand on the gas, the inside front wheel does not spin off all of the engine's goodness. It really does work very nicely. The only problem, it's only offered on the very top model. The Integra's cabin has been finished with the same sort of attention to detail. For the driver, the power 12-way seat delivers equal measures of comfort and support and the right driving position. The 10.2-inch instrumentation screen is clean and clear, as is the infotainment screen. While most models get a 7-inch screen, the Elite A-Spec gets a better 9-incher. It works wirelessly with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and gives access to the superb 16-speaker ELS sound system that comes complete with a proper a volume knob. The disappointment here, there's no built-in navigation system offered. Now this latest Integra really does come together very nicely. It's got a great little engine, it handles exceptionally well, and it's got a very nice cabin. In fact, the whole package is so good, well, there's not much to complain about, except for the fact it needs a base model with a six-speed manual. When motoring launched in 1988, it was only found on TV, not anymore. We have a robust website with the best auto journalists in the country. Our Facebook, where the only topic of conversation is cars, and where it's easy to win cool swag. YouTube, which boasts 30 years of archives at your fingertips, including complete episodes. Cool shirts, right? For the first time ever, we're selling them. Google Motoring TV Shop to get yours today.